Hi, this is Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands. Um, today I'm going to be doing my version of an Easter bonnet for a competition that I'm going to be entering um, in a couple of weeks time. I have a little bonnet that I got from Hobbycraft, um, some yellow flowers which are from my stash. These little sticks, some pretty pink fleecy fabric. I've done an oval shape and I've done four of them. I have pink paper and a bunny die cut. So that's what I'm going to be working with. First of all we're going to do the fabric. Now I've done four ovals and I'm cutting it out of this blanket. I might use the bunnies that are on the blanket but because they're playboy bunnies I'm not sure it really constitutes Easter so I, I might give that a miss. A little disclaimer while I'm cutting this out. I understand Easter to be a religious occasion. This um, is fun and it's not meant to offend anybody that might think I should be more somber around Easter. It's not meant to take away from any religious connotation whatsoever and I'm doing bunnies and flowers because it relates to spring. I think with Easter's denoted in spring I think that's why we have these the bunny and the, um, flowers and that are all sort of associated with that theme so that's disclaimer over so I've got two cut out and what I've done is I've just used the pink bases so I can uh, use the rest of the fabric another time if I should wish to do so so just because it's patterned it doesn't mean to say you can't necessarily use it if you've got the right to fit in between so that's number three and we've got to try and match them up because the curve in them is because it's a hand-drawn curve it's not going to be necessarily even at each end right so we need to have the wrong sides facing out at the moment and the nice fluffy pink sides facing towards each other we need to have a gap at the bottom for turning so i'm going to start about an inch high the top and just basically stitch round to give it a rough shape now first of all i'm going to pull my cotton through and pull it through my knot so i don't lose my thread so i'm just going to do a basic running stitch all the way around until i get to about here and then i'll turn it the correct way around so i hope everyone's doing well we are coming up to our 40th video, which I'm really chuffed about. Please, if you enjoyed this um, content, like, subscribe, and share amongst your friends. Tell your friends about me. I just love to create, um, and that's what this channel's all about. With um, any form of crafting, you have to enjoy what you're doing, because otherwise, what's the point of doing it? You've got to be in the moment with it. So I'm doing. I don't know, but half inch stitches and doubling back on it on myself that seems reasonably tight. It doesn't have to be fantastic, but it does need to be, you know, as neat as I can get it. If you haven't guessed already, these are going to be little bunny ears and they're going to go on the side of my hat. So I got bunny hat. I might put a nice pretty yellow wide ribbon on it just to give it a bit of a a band round to work with. I mean it will pucker but it doesn't matter because it'll give the the ear a bit of shape. Right, my thread's getting a little bit short so I'm going to secure it by doing a couple of through the loops and then cutting it off. And I need to re-thread. So it's pretty pink cotton and I usually do roughly an arm's length doubled over. If you do it too long, you get very tangled up with it. Too short, you're forever um, threading again. Filming this, it won't necessarily go out on her birthday, but I'm filming this on one of my friend's birthdays. So, happy birthday, Jen. Hope you've had a good day. And I'll just rejoin it when I finished up. And again, go through the loop, just to make sure I don't lose my thread. It doesn't take huge time to go round them. Once I made this, I can bring it out every Easter. Or if I work out a little system inside the hat, I might be able to hang it 
on the front door of an Easter wreath. Right, so I think I'm about where I need to be now. And I'm going to go through and gain, do a couple of loops. I might do a third one because this one's going to be at a point where it might have a bit of tension on it. That should be nice and tight enough. Okay, so this now needs to be worked through. That's bunny ear number one done. Yes, about the right height. Now, these little sticks are going to go glued up inside and they will hold the ear up so stop it flopping about. So it's just really for, for tension. Yeah, pleased with that. Okay, well, you little stick can stay in there. Well, I've just tied another knot in my cotton and we go back round. Ooh. I'm just working round, keeping the edges close and I'm coming about, I don't know, quarter of an inch in from the side. Just get a little fine seam. Right, my thread's running low, so I'm going to do a couple of loops. Now, if you have not, not enough thread to go through front ways, what you can do is back your needle into it. It's easier to pull it through sometimes. Depends on how much you've left yourself. Now, these ears probably won't match, but they'll be close enough to not to worry. I'm going to try the die cut of the bunny with um, some felt and see if that will die cut. And if it does, that'll be brilliant. If not, I've got a backup of pink paper. Otherwise, I want, would like it to be done in pink felt if I can, or yellow felt, or some of each. Right, and we're around to the next point. And secure that. Now it's time to turn it over. Bring out the seam as far as possible. There we go. Right, let's get rid of these flowers for a second. So this one's not got the wooden stake yet, and this one has, and is sitting much better. Now I'm wondering whether to actually glue my bit of wood in there because it'll stop it moving about. When to... Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Plenty of glue on my stick and slide it in through the top and try and get it as straight as possible. Don't let that one dry. And then these will be hot glued onto the sides to match. So I'll hot glue these. Then I'm going to tuck this bit and this bit up and then just go across the ends. And I'm just literally going to cross and forwards along the bottom here. Now I suppose it would be important to make sure the ears are the same height. Not one ear bigger than the other. I can actually pull this in a little bit to give it a little bit of shape as well. Now this little bit at the bottom here is not going to be seen because it'll be down in there. So this one, let's tuck this up. So tip of my ear, yeah, not bad. Doesn't have to look pretty, it just needs to seal the end. So once again, I've not got much thread left, so I'm going through the bottom, um, putting the bottom of the needle back through. And I've got a minuscule amount of uh, cotton left. So, we have two bunny ears. We want to try and get them as level as possible. Found a nice gold ribbon. That would look pretty, wouldn't it? Just jazz it up a bit. Yeah, why not go for the gold? We've got to put that round before the ears on otherwise we have to go over the front of the ears that's why i'm thinking of this now you can do a join in the ribbon where the ears are gonna be all right so we're about there a little bit extra just to be safe don't want necessarily a bow but a nice little overlap might be pretty no i've got to hide that aren't i a little bit of glue on here Pop it on there before we start tugging at it. I'm just wondering if there's a way of pinning it. Got this pin here. And if I go through and back out again, that should hold that in place while the glue is going. I'm going to put another pin 
here. Hold that. Ooh. And when it's snagging. And we're back to the beginning. Let's put a bit more glue on there. Right, got a nice gold trim round there. My ears are going to sit here and on the opposite side because that will cover up the coin. So I'm trying to go from the side. Enough glue that my ears will stick onto the side. Right, I'm fit just feeling which side the stick is and then I'm just going to press bunny ears to the glue. It dries really quickly and cools down really quickly so that's on there quite nicely now. And try and get this nice and even. Get this stuff on. And take these pins out now. Because it was just really to hold the ribbon in place while the ears were being done. How do we look with the ears? Oh, yes. I'm liking it. Yeah, they look quite straight. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, so we need to concentrate now on our front decoration. Now, a couple of pin-in flowers. So what I'm going to do is randomly poke them through and then pin in the back. Fairly high up, so it, when I sit my head down, I don't want it digging into me. One thing about these hats, they've got plenty of weave to be able to poke things through with. Yeah. Then I've got lots of flowers and leaves now i've basically dismantled some silk flowers um, in order that uh, i have the bits that i need so this time i'm going to add the glue to the item and i'm going to sit that on there like that so and it's just a matter of Randomly placing my flowers, I suppose. So, that's what we've got so far. Excuse me ears. Where's my other ear gone? Where's my ear gone? There it is. Ear. Ear. Oh, that's it, yeah. Okay. And then I want my bunny here. Oh, yellow felt. That's it. I knew I had some felt somewhere. Do I have a yellow bunny? Let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, we're none worse off are we okay so put me back in the corner and let's see if he's take um been cut out the felt or not ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, perfectly question is do we like it um no i think i'd like it in the card so we go back and we'll have a up. Poke him out. Yes. Okay. I might put some more round the all round the back. I don't know yet. I haven't decided on that. Will we be able to put this boat on him? What do we reckon? Is it too big? Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? That's a shame. The other alternative is bows here. Maybe we could use one of those. What do we reckon? Yeah, I like it. So let's glue this to here. Now, because he's not got anything on his on the there's an opening here. Got to be careful what we're gluing to because there's not much there to glue to so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on these bits and around the side and then I'll glue the bow 
and that hopefully should have enough to hang on to. Ah, oh, good job, mate. Okay, so that's that bit. Now then. And you just sit him on here. my Kalau and hope for the best. I think he'll stay on with Kalau. Sticks to most things. Your ears done. Bunny, it's a bit cute. Glued on. So, because it's a weird shape to glue on to. I'm having to keep pressing down because I can't really pin this without putting a hole in the um, the paper. I'm just sort of tapping down until it goes off as such. Everything up front and centre, that's what the back looks like, and I think that's just enough decoration there. I was going to think of putting the bunny, say one, two, three bunnies going round, but I think that might be overkill. You've got a lot of heavy decoration on the front. My little Easter bonnet. I'll let you know if I won or not. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Much love. Bye bye for now. <laughs>